Could this be your last chance to buy Shiba Inu at these prices ever again? Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. After that dramatic opening there, we're going to talk about where Shiba Inu is on the chart. What could potentially happen here with Shiba Inu in the short term? And in the, let's say, month and a half, two months going into Bitcoin having what could potentially happen to the market and how could that affect uh, Shiba Inu going forward? Beautiful smile, smash the like button, and let's do the Shiba Shake. <laughs> So currently the price of Shiba Inu is at 0.403442, down minus 2% uh, since GMT time, nothing too uh, crazy. But for the most part, the crypto market is pretty flat. Uh, the general crypto market is uh, up half a percent because Ethereum is up half a percent and Bitcoin is pretty flat here. But it seems to be that Saturday morning wasn't that bonkers, right? <laughs> People must have, you know partied uh, like a rock star on friday so now <laughs> uh, in europe and in uh and in asia uh, so the saturday morning uh, pump didn't come uh, but it's okay uh, you know last week we were very volatile and so it's it's normal that there'll be a little bit of a cool off but shiba inu is uh forming an interesting uh situation here uh it's a very um you know straightforward cup and handle uh, movement here uh, excuse my uh terrible drawing right it's not you know i could have made the the circle actually the cup uh, until here and then the handle here but you get the gist right <laughs> uh, so if you don't know a cup and handle formation is a formation where you have this kind of cup then you have a handle which goes to the downside right and then you have that breakout right and potentially we could have that breakout here uh, from Shiba Inu in the in the near future. Now, I'm not a prophet. I don't know if this is going to happen, right? This is just a theory. It's using form formations on the graph, which is under the umbrella of technical analysis. Technical analysis does not work 100% of the time. If it did, technical analysis traders would dominate the market and they would be billionaires and trillionaires but the real truth is is that many of them lose money because sometimes news or momentum or money just comes in and trumps their plays right and so yes technical analysis is important and the the the, the uh, structure that we are seeing here now in the graph uh, looks prominent, looks like it's potential for a breakout here, but that does not me mean that it's 100% going to happen. So you have to remember that. And if you're learning technical analysis, if you're using technical analysis, you have to remember that it's not 100% of the time. I I'm creating a course. I'm still working on it. I I'm, I'm too much of a perfectionist. Um, it will be out soon, right? Uh, you know, in the, about a, in maybe in a month or so. I'm working on it slowly, slowly. Um, and it's going to be a very, you know, not too expensive. I I'm thinking like real cheap. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy in that way because I want it to be for, for the for the people. Right. But of course, you got to charge. You can't give it. You know, I worked on it for a while, so uh, I'm going to have to charge something for it. But it's going to be really cheap, like really cheap. You're going to be surprised how cheap because <laughs> I, I don't want, you know, to I want it to be for people that are just starting out and and, and don't want uh, you know to invest too much money and also for people that have crypto knowledge but again they're like yeah i can get most of this on the internet for free why would i pay three hundred dollars or five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars for a course when i could just do it by myself um so i want to get to both people right so we'll see but in that course for example we'll, we'll talk a lot about you know if maybe a few episodes about technical analysis and how to use it and, and how it can be an amazing tool, but also a downfall of a, of a trader, right? Um, and so again, if you're new to the channel, I say, I think that uh, the market investing and trading is 90% uh, mental, right? 9% uh, technical and 1% luck, right? <laughs> Sometimes you just 
invest in something and it and it this is the day before big news and it explodes that's luck right that's the one percent technical is is knowing all the information the news the graph uh, the the structure of the the company or the the crypto right and the mental part is knowing how to buy when everyone's scared and sell when everyone's bullish and things like that and that's the hardest part in my opinion and that's what differs the successful people and the unsuccessful people because you can know the most about technical analysis and know all the news right but at the end of the day you're a scaredy cat and you don't invest <laughs> and you sit on the sidelines you're not going to make any money so that doesn't matter right uh, so it'll be interesting now uh bitcoin is getting close and close to that uh, 69,000. we see here uh that we have now the uh all-time high as a uh, re re resistance area and we have the low here you can see it was a resistance area here the 60,000 ish area where it drops that's going to be our new support area uh, for bitcoin and it will be interesting to see uh, in the next coming days if we do have a, another uh, go around to 70,000 how will the market react because already three times we've seen new all-time highs and boom it sells off right Will the fourth time be the charm and uh, we'll be able to break out? That's the big question here, right? Uh, you're seeing here in the background, I'm using uh, our partner's platform, uh, Margex. If you are interested, link is in the description down below. There's no KYC, so you can use it all around the world. Um, you can, for Bitcoin, use up to 100x leverage, right? For me, that's a little much. I tend to use around 20 but you know everybody uh, can do their own <laughs> to their own right for me it's too stressful but maybe you can you can uh, hang with 100 100x right um please trade responsibly right you can 100x your money right or you can lose everything to a liquidation um so be very very careful uh link is in the description down below it's a great tool uh to add to your bag uh check it out see if it interests you if if it's too stressful for you leverage trading it's okay you don't have to do it um, but i think it's an amazing tool to add to your bag and not you know if you feel like you're stuck and for example the market's consolidating you can make money on these one percent to five percent movements you can make a lot of money right because you're using leverage so if you put in a thousand dollars and you 10x leverage it's like you're investing ten thousand dollars but also because you're using the margin here you can get liquidated and your position can go bye-bye so you have to be very careful with that a link is in the description down below please trade responsibly i'll get a little bit of commission and when you use my link you'll get uh 50 for signing up another 50 once you deposit 100 uh that goes to your commissions and you get another 20 x 20 percent kicker if you use my um code so link is in the description down below we are seeing a lot of americans especially uh losing a staggering almost four billion dollars to bitcoin dogecoin shiba inu and other crypto investment scams in 2023 fbi reports and reveals as we go into the crypto bull market there's going to be more and more and more scams out there it's going to be on twitter it's going to be on facebook it's going to be on reddit it's going to be on youtube it's going to be all over please be careful and don't connect your wallet to anything that you don't know and don't click on any links and don't send money to people that you don't know and don't send money to people that you think is some influencer and it's really not them um i'll never send you a message i'll never contact you to sign up to some service never all the communication is going to be done here and or if you send me a message right and then i'll say hey yeah it's it's the real me and if you're t my twitter is on my youtube page check it out um and um in the comment section i'll have a gray circle around my name there's all these fake avis it's not me <laughs> it's not just my problem by the way it's a it's a youtube problem it's a twitter problem it's everybody problem uh with these uh fake fake accounts so just be very very careful and also if suddenly you see me posting about some project and click on this link also that's that we've seen many times is sim swaps um where people get their uh number stolen and then they get their account hacked uh, so also even if it's an official account don't click on any links <laughs> so be very careful we already are seeing that we're in a situation where there is more bitcoin being scooped up by these etfs right than bitcoin that is being created 
okay so we're seeing bitcoin ets net inflow this week 2.2 billion total bitcoin mined this week 4500 total bitcoin bought by etfs this week 33,000. now this is a situation where it might not stay like this forever right we're in the precipice of a potential you know my uh, having event and people are hyped and we're at all-time highs and and you know so people are buying and accumulating and people are buying the etfs right but there's going to be a time where this kind of levels out a little bit and then it will be interesting to see how how the price of bitcoin reacts once um the amount of by the way this is let's say 4500 that's going to be declined by half once the having has the having uh, comes so that's going to affect also the supply and demand so the, the the supply is going to decrease significantly in the next few months and the demand is probably going to go up because you know retail is really not here yet right you know when retail is here and if shiba inu is pumping the videos will probably get a hundred thousand views right but retail is not here yet right and a lot of um you know views uh for example in 2021 was coming from india and I'm, I'm seeing some views from India, but not a lot, right? So it could be that soon we'll see um, more views from that region, more people from that region uh, getting interested again in Shiba Inu. So we'll see, right? So it's going to be very interesting. Now, according to Red Capital here, the 14% dip is over. The Bitcoin pre-halving rally has resumed, light blue. Uh, and after that, one last pre-halving retrace, right? Black, uh, dark blue circle. This is still a potential that could happen. Even though Bitcoin hit all-time high, we could still potentially see a retrace. Here in the blue circle, it's talking, I guess, around 50,000. I don't know if that is going to happen. Uh, you know, if Bitcoin drops to 50,000, right, we're at 70,000. So that would be, what, about a 20, 25% drop there. Um, you know, that's a big drop. Uh, it could happen and it could not happen, right? This cycle is kind of acting different than other cycles right we, we saw a new all-time high um before having usually it only happened uh post having even like two months or three months after having we got it two months before having um so it's all kind of messed up here on the timeline if people were trying to predict also 2020 having was not the same as exactly as 2016 having so each time it's a little bit different uh, and to try to get the exact time uh that we're going to have a, a move up or a move down is kind of hard what has been something that did happen every single time was that 500 ish days right it's not 500 days every single time it's around 500 so one time it was 500 one time it was 540 one time it was so it's like a month here a month there where the peak comes 500 days after having we'll see if that happens again this time uh and that will be very interesting uh to 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 track if it's correct it will be around september october of 2025 uh which i still think right with everything we had that that will will be where we see the peak maybe it comes before maybe it comes after who knows uh but i am my current plan is according to that and if things get dynamic and if things change i'll change my plan i have a, pl uh, a secondary plan what if it peaks earlier what am i going to do and how will i know that it peaked right <laughs> that's important as well because there could be some you know fake uh, peaks right if you remember uh bitcoin had a quote unquote fake peak right where uh, it uh it came to its high right and then sold off uh you know from that level it sold off 54% in 3 months uh and then it rallied to the to the new high so like we could have something like this and how how and, and maybe this one is the peak how would i know right and if it starts to climb i don't know it goes up to 200,000, let's say, <clears throat> and then it starts dropping and it drops all the way down to 100,000, right? How do I know that that was the, the end of the run, right? So uh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'll plan accordingly to that, that potentially happening. Uh, and so all the question is, how high can we go this uh, cycle? Um, I saw Kathy Wood talking again about a million dollars before 2030. I still think that's kind of a way uh, but who knows like it doesn't kind of make sense with the with the market caps and all that but but we'll see uh if we can potentially get to a million dollars you know what? i'll make a video about that maybe tonight or tomorrow talking about that potential there for bitcoin so it's going to be very interesting 
Uh, don't forget to smash the like button and check out the links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.